Hello? Today I'm doing a smash beer, but I'm not using two row for the malt. I'm using 100% Vienna and a little bit of acid malt. That small just to bring the pH to the range I want it to be. Uh, so technically it's not a full smash beer, but it counts. And trying Vienna malt um, as using as 100%, or it can convert pretty much or just as well as two row. Um, I think it's used a lot more for lagers and stuff like that, but why not with this? And the hops I'm using are Perlay, I believe that's how you say it. I've heard it said Pearl before, but I'm gonna go Perlay because I think that's right. P-E-R-L-E. -E. And the hops go 60 minutes, five minutes in the boil, and then a steep at 15, and then an addition at zero right at the end, right um, right before I start chilling. The I'd be using this serves about 75, and I'm going for a 1065 post boil. If I'm a little off there, that's fine. So, so somewhere in that range. Um, the SRAM is gonna be probably around seven or six or so. That's what the program says. And looking at an ABV of about six and a half percent, maybe a little higher. I'm actually at 152 degrees Fahrenheit, and the yeast I'm using is US05. good I'm okay with that it's a little on the high side still I think 5.2 is about where I'd rather be you can go as high as 5.6 I think so 5.44 is fine I'm definitely within the range of uh, an acceptable pH so we're good Thirty-five. Well, it's going for 1031, 1030 in that range, so I overshot that. Last time I started at 1031, I ended up at 1069. And this time I'm going for, I think, 1065. Yeah, 1064, 1065. So I'm going to do a really light boil on this. I'm not, I'm not going to go vigorous at all. In fact, that's about the extent of it right there. I might even lessen that a little bit to a simmer because uh, I want to get the hop extraction out of this. I would shorten my boil to 45 minutes, but I really don't want to um, lose my IBUs. And I might steep a little longer and boil less. So I'm afraid it's going to be like in a 1070 range. I don't want that. Ten fifty. I have about 10 minutes left in the boil, maybe nine, eight minutes, somewhere in that range. Um, but I think I'm on track. I might be a little under my gravity actually at this point. I'm gonna take another gravity reading near the end and I might need to add some DME uh, and adjust along the way. Um, I don't know how last time I was at 1031 and ended up 1069. This time I'm at 1035 and I might be short of 1060. 1055. Okay, so it's climbing, but I only have about three or four minutes left in the boil. So I doubt it'll even get to 1060 at the rate it's going. Maybe, maybe right at 1060. I'm gonna actually increase it for another three or four minutes. I think I can get to like 1061 or two, which is fine. That's gonna be just shy of what I'm going for. But I've had the baby this long the way, which is okay. I'm getting better at like adjusting the brew day when things go wrong during it. I might throw a little bit of DME right at the end, but I don't really want to calculate that out and figure out how to do that at the last second. I could overshoot my gravity higher than I want, but at this point, I think putting a little bit in there, if anything, 
it'll probably get me to, to closer to where I want. I doubt I'll go past 1065 at this point. Dialing it in one brew day at a time. Ten sixty four. Sweet. That is exactly what I was going for. I had to do some in brew adjustments there, but I made it happen. I did end up throwing a little bit of DME in there, um, but it was just a sprinkle, and that was a fifty five minute boil total. So uh, the IBUs are barely different, um, which is great. They're probably around 60, 61, 62 in that range. I was going for about 64, so I'm happy. That's the temperature right now. I've been having this wort cool down for about 45 minutes now. I think it's, it's at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna get any colder. So I'm gonna put it into the one gallon jug and then I'm going to uh, pitch the yeast a couple hours later, uh, probably later tonight. Thought there was a spider on me. Don't tell anyone. So this is done. I'm going to pitch the yeast later. Like I said, I was going for 0.75 gallons or in that range. And there's a gallon there. Yeah, I got what I wanted. I uh, did a good job adjusting along the way, which I think was really, 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 really important. I don't often do that. I tend to just kind of roll with what I got. If I'm a little over or under my, my targets, then I don't really adjust that well. Um, I finally got that going with the pH, so I can add lactic acid, I can add phosphoric acid, I can also add baking soda, which would raise the pH. And it's the first time I actually took gravity readings during the boil, so I could tell where I was along the way, so I could add some DME, or I could not do it. Um, I could boil a little longer. If I'm, I might be a little higher, that's okay. If a little under, that's okay. It's not a big deal to me. So yeah, I'm happy with where I'm going with this. I'm starting to get the system dialed in a little bit. The last brew day was off by a lot more than I was planning. Today I corrected because of my offness on the last one, which was my OG being way higher than I was anticipating. So yeah, uh, happy brewing.